Hello everyone and welcome to A Fictional Escapist. Today's video serves as an unhaul. I uh, don't unhaul very regularly. I'm a bit of a book hoarder, so when I buy books or I steal them from my parents, as is the case with a lot of these, I don't tend to get rid of them. So I thought it was time, and my wife has been telling me that it is time to go through and get rid of some of the books that I'm no longer reading, particularly now that I'm really enjoying the fantasy and sci-fi and horror genres. I'm picking up more of them and not reading a lot of other, other genres that I, I did pick up prior. I've got a whole bunch of books that I'm looking at uh, donating to places like Lifeline or uh, Salvos, just places that take secondhand books and then resell them for quite cheap to people who may want them in the future. The first set of books that I'm unhauling, I'm not going to give too much light. Um, now, I will preface this by saying that I'm a big believer in separating the art from the artist, but this is just an artist that I can no longer support as a trans person, and that is the Comran Strike series uh, by Robert Galbraith, which is a pseudonym for J.K. Rowling. So, the Comran Strike series, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about it. They're sort of old-time mysteries. I really enjoyed them, but I can no longer support that artist, and I had all of them and they're now going in the bin. Well, not in the bin, I'm sure somebody else might like them. Um, like I said, it's a personal choice. I don't dislike you if you, if you read them and you enjoy them. It's just, I, I can't support that person anymore, unfortunately. So, they're the first uh, series of books that I'm gonna get rid of. I'm not gonna put them on the screen like I will with the rest of them. Jumping into the rest of the unhaul, the first one I'm getting rid of is Maximum Ride by James Patterson. A lot of these books that I am unhauling I know very little about. Uh, they've been on my shelves for a long time. I believe this is actually a YA book. Uh, Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment. Hold on tight, you're in for the ride of your life. Well, James Patterson, I'm not because someone else can be. I'm getting rid of it. Bye. Uh, the next one is Jeffrey Diva. The Devil's Teardrop, I... It's a thriller, I believe, or a thriller mystery crime, sort of within that uh, genre. You'll see a lot of the books that I'm unhauling are actually going to be in the crime sort of mystery uh, genre uh, because I don't read them as much, uh, if at all anymore, with the exception of the Millennium Trilogy, which I'm currently reading. But I picked this up uh, just because it was some, an author that my dad had read, and I was like, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, it, it's fairly short. I mean, I feel like a lot of crime is fairly formulaic sort of within that three to five hundred page count, uh, if that, and then, yeah, it's, I have no interest, and I've been holding on to it for a long time, and I was like, maybe I'll read it and get rid of it, and that's not going to happen, so it's time to go, Mr. Diva. Bye. The next one that I'm getting rid of is part of a series. Um, so this is Palace of Treason, which was book two in the Red Sparrow trilogy. I believe it was called the Red Sparrow trilogy. Red Sparrow was the first one, and the uh, the Kremlin's Candidate is book three. Now, I am keeping the Kremlin's Candidate because I haven't read it yet. I did quite like uh, Red Sparrow and Palace of Treason. If you like a, an espionage novel on occasion, this is a very good series, uh, in my opinion. Uh, sorry, it's by Jason Math Matthews. Um, I liked Red Sparrow, I liked this one, but I'm never going to sort of go back to it. I will read the third one and then unhaul that one eventually as well. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. Uh, now, fun story about this series is when my ex and I split, she took books out of series um, that I was reading, and there's like random books missing from series that I guess she was reading at the time, which was just super interesting and like quietly brilliant for someone who likes books to uh, just show that they were unhappy with me. Um, but yeah, so that's book two in the Red Sparrow trilogy and it's, it's now going, so I'm never going to read it again. The next one that I'm getting rid of is Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham. I watched Girls for a little while. I quite liked Girls when it came out. I liked what Lena Dunham was doing for women at the time. Uh, sort of, you know, being this icon where you didn't have to be super skinny or super beautiful and you could still be successful. And I liked that narrative that was coming across. So I bought the book and I just never picked it up. I never picked it up and I probably never will. Um, that's, you know, I still think what she did for women at that time was was amazing uh but yeah i just maybe someone else maybe a young girl can pick that up and be inspired hopefully the next two are the same author so i will just do them together and that is uh, what alice forgot and the husband's secret 
by Leanne Moriarty. I read, I've read two of Leanne Moriarty's books. I read, uh, is it Big Little Lies, the one that got adapted? Uh, and I also read, maybe it was The Husband's Secret. Yeah, it was The Husband's Secret. So I, I've read this one. I haven't read this one. Um, I was reading these at a time when I didn't know what I should be reading. Uh, so I, I was questioning whether I should read from my dad's shelf or my mum's shelf, something that would become apparent to me later in life. Also, just read what you want, no one cares. But my mum was reading these, so I, I picked these up. And I, they're not bad books at all. Um, I liked Big Little Lies, I liked The Husband's Secret, but they were fine. They weren't standouts to me. It wasn't until I sort of hit fantasy that I was like, oh, I, I like this genre, I actually really like it. Whereas these books were a bit like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, I read it. I'm not mad that I read it. Um, but I probably am not gonna pick what Alice forgot up anytime soon, so maybe somebody else can can love those. Uh, the next book that I am unhauling is Room by Emma Donahue. My dad really liked this movie, uh, so I found the book and I picked it up, and then neither of us read it. And I think it's about a woman who's stuck in a room with her son. I don't know whether she's being kept there. Let's see. It says you can read it in one sitting, but I didn't. And I will not, because I'm getting rid of it someone else can read it in one sitting. It says Jack is five. He lives in a single locked room with his ma. That's it on the back. And I think it's just a survival story and a heartwarming story about this woman who obviously survives with her son in this one room. Um, but it's not for me. Maybe I'll watch the movie. I don't know. Next, we come to the great crime book unhaul of 2022 on a fictional escapist channel. And a lot of these are by the same author. We have quite a few, so I'm just going to put authors together so that this video isn't 20 minutes long. I have four books that I am unhauling from Kathy Rikes. I like Kathy Rikes' writing, I do. It's just not something that I'm going to pick up anytime soon. I had a bit of a, a crime phase back in the day, probably late high school years and then early into uni. Um, Kathy Rikes, if you don't know, uh, if you watch the series Bones, it is the author behind Bones and sort of the inspiration for that series, which is why Temperance Brennan is called Kathy Rikes, is her fictional name in the show. So I like these books, particularly these smaller, these shorter ones, and it's about Temperance Brennan. She's a anthropologist and she, yeah, just solves murders by bones by figuring out what's happening with the bones so I'm getting rid of 206 bones which I have not read devil bones which I have read two nights which I have not read and what's this one called bones never lie which I also have not read um, I sort of went through a phase where I bought a whole bunch of these particular paperbacks and as I read them I sort of read them and got rid of them and I just yeah I've only read devil bones out of the four that I still have and I don't think we're going to pick them up anytime soon. Maybe somebody else who likes forensic anthrop eh, pff, forensic anthropology uh, and likes Kathy Rikes and or Bones may pick them up. I hope that she got a lot more readers from the the Bones series uh, because she's brilliant. Like she is a forensic anthropologist. She's an author. She was a producer on the show, I believe. I just she's a very inspiring woman. So. I'm sorry, Kathy Rax, but um, you've had your time with me. My mum still reads you, and I stole most of them from her, but she doesn't want them back. Okay, next up we have Karen Slaughter. Now, the reason I'm getting rid of these is because they're parts of series, and I don't own the rest of the series. Uh, so, in terms of thrillers, I love Karen Slaughter. <laughs> Writing thrillers, they are messed up. They are messed up thrillers. But I'm not reading a whole bunch of thrillers now, and these two on my shelves. Uh, so I've got Genesis and I've got Cop Town. I am interested in picking up the standalones that Kathy Rikes has. That's probably quite glary in that light, sorry. Just to see if I can sort of get back into her writing. I remember very much enjoying her writing. Uh, again, late high school, when I was going through that sort of crime thriller phase of my life. Uh, so I am, you know, I I'm not saying goodbye to Karen Slaughter forever, just for now. The last two that I have are Martina Cole. I read one book by Martina Cole and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. But it was good. And then I started this one, uh, started Faces by Martina Cole, and it basically read the same. So I liked one and I just have a feeling that uh, her books are going to be again formulaic and they follow the same sort of I guess structure the one that I read which I apologize I don't know the name of 
it was like a family drama as well as crime and those two genres mixed together. Um, so I'm going to get rid of Faces and The Faceless. So there are two Martina Coles. And I just, I don't know. Again, it was good. I enjoyed that first one. But if they're all going to be the same, I, I don't want to continue reading it. I'm someone that doesn't like repetition in my life. I very rarely reread or rewatch anything except for Will and Grace because it's brilliant. Um, and it's also a, a comforting thing for me. You don't need to know that. Will and Grace and Charmed, if you're ever wondering. Things that I rewatch, those two things. Um, but yeah, I, I don't reread, so I probably won't pick up something that reads the same as the other books. Anyway, that's it. I also uploaded a whole bunch of self-help books that were like from the 70s, 80s and 90s, so not super relevant anymore. I'm not going to bore you with those on the screen. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of it, hit subscribe if you want to. You know what to do. I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.